Now the one thing about this that's fantastic is you're going to extend the life of this engine considerably by doing this. And you're going to get many, many years of good use out of this engine by doing this filtration bypass system. I have a couple of fleets of road trucks, trucks that are for delivery trucks, that are approaching 300,000 miles. They go all over the southeast and, and into the Midwest, and uh, they, they've been running this since day one, and they've had virtually no downtime. So you've got to consider that the $500 is expensive, but you know what? You're going to reduce your downtime with injector problems. You're going to reduce engine breakage. It's going to run cooler. Uh, and uh, you're going to find that you're going to get a lot more life out of your engine. So I highly recommend it if you're going to keep your truck for the long term. Now at this point that we have the filtration system installed and whatnot, we need to go through and we need to, we need to install the new synthetic oil and then we need to go through and make sure that there's no leaks. You don't want any leakage of course because you'll leak the, leak the oil out. Other than that, this installation is complete. This is an outstanding system. I've installed this on dozens and dozens of fleet trucks and ambulances with outstanding results. Not only does it uh, in increase the durability of the engine, but it increases the length of life that you're in for your injectors. Injectors are real touchy in a 6 liter, uh, and, and oil has a significant role to play in that. As far as maintenance intervals, you need to look at the documentation that comes with your particular filter. We change the oil and the filter at 20,000 miles. Um, on all the fleet vehicles. We've done oil analysis and the oil is still good at that point but we figured it was better to be safe than sorry. I do have one client with a 7.3 who's gone over 120,000 miles with the original oil and he sends the oil in for analysis at every 5,000 mile intervals. I'm a big fan of the prolonged engine additive. If you expect to run your oil for extended periods of time beyond 20 or 30,000 miles I would suggest that you put Prolong in there every 10,000 miles. Uh, of course, you're going to check your oil level on a periodic basis, at least every 5,000 miles when you go through the truck and do the checklist. Um, but if you add this in there, this is an enhancer and will bring the oil back up to speed. And this is a super lubricant too. It, it, it does wonderful things for the fuel injectors. And, and over the years with the 7.3s and 6 liters, we've extended the life of fuel injectors by using this stuff. Um, you can get it at AutoZone or you can buy it online. The combination of these two together with synthetic oil will extend the life of your engine indefinitely. Uh, it, it's just, it's, we've proven it over and over and over in fleet situations, the benefits of this type of filtration system in conjunction with the Prolon. You, you just can't go wrong. But because of the cost of it, this is not something that I would do to a truck that you're going to trade in two years or, or you're going to get rid of soon because you'll never see the real benefit of the system uh, if you uh, trade the truck early. So if you're going to keep the truck for long term, you really like the truck and you want to keep it for a long term, uh, I highly suggest that you install this system. Look, if you're serious about doing this, I suggest you take a look at the Amsoil site, Amsoil.com, I believe it is, and take a look at, at some of the installations. If you go through there, and some of them are PDFs and whatnot, take a few minutes to load, but there's some very uh, innovative ways of going about installing this kit on various different vehicles. I like this installation the best because it's simple and it's fast and we had a fleet of 44 trucks we did this to uh, and uh, it just goes very quickly that way we can get them in and then get them out but, and, and, and it's very effective because you can get right there to the filter both oil filters are on top of the engine so it, it makes a, a much easier installation your Amsoil part numbers BMK11 that's the kit that I use to mount the filter BMK1101 is the oil filter cap. It's not an inexpensive piece, but it's the best way to go about this. BMK1102 is the oil fill cap, the return cap. BP242 is a 90 degree elbow. Uh, with a BMK11, it's not necessary to have this, but it helps as far as height on top of the uh, oil filter cap uh, to get hood height there. So it's, it's, it's a little bit shorter than the one that comes with the kit, so it does help out. EA BP 100 is the filter that goes onto the kit. The kit does not come with a filter. And then the AME 04 is the 15W40 synthetic oil. Expect to pay somewhere in the 450 to 500 range for all this stuff, but once it's done, it's done. When you get the kit and you unpack it, there's a lot of literature with it. And I suggest you take a good hard look, especially at the section that talks about oil change intervals. Even under extreme situations with a synthetic oil, you can do 20,000 mile intervals. 
with the addition of the prolong, you should be uh, safe to do that. If you use your truck lightly and you don't pull hard all the time, then you can extend that interval. And that's a decision you have to make. One of the services that AMSOIL offers is an oil analysis service. That allows you to take a sample of your oil and send it into them and they'll email you back an analysis of that oil to tell you if it's ready to change or not. So by pulling a sample every 25 or 30 or 35,000, you can find out exactly uh, whether you need to change the oil or not. Because it's not inexpensive. I mean, this stuff's almost 30 bucks a gallon. So you're, you're 120 bucks worth of oil and the analysis is cheap. That's a decision you have to make. The bottom line is that this system installed correctly and used correctly will extend the life of your engine and your injectors indefinitely. It's really quite amazing the durability that we've seen out of the 6 liter with this type system.